Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Lockout Man, back again with another podcast for you today. And in this interview right here, actually, it's an interview episode. Interview episode, y'all. That's what's up. So you guys remember the epic chase that was on I or 275 up in Ohio. Y'all remember that? Big chase, county to county, three hours long. It says here in the Cincinnati.com Inquirer, it pretty much says that a sniper rifle, uh, a sniper rifle took out the engine, ending the I-275 pursuit in Cincinnati, Ohio. So, unfortunately, we... We don't know why the driver snapped. I mean, come to find out that it was a it was it was a hostage situation with his wife. So don't even know what went on. But his wife made the phone call saying that she was scared for her life and everything like that. In this article, uh, the the driver is in custody. Um, it says here that uh, that the driver started. Uh, that the incident started when an officer didn't notice no taggings on the truck and he went to go and pull the uh, the driver over. Unfortunately, when he pulled the driver over, of course, the driver just took off. He just took off like, I'm not getting caught today. Not today. You're going to learn today. We're not getting caught today. And took this officer and the rest of the and and the rest of the counties involved on a three hour chase up and down I-275 that finally came to an end at the uh, officer that took out the engine with a 50 cal. All right. So. And this exclusive, guys, I got an exclusive for you. I reached out to the. Hello, how you doing today? Doing well, how are you? I am fine, thank you. And I'm the host of uh, Lockout Me and Podcast, a trucker's podcast on, uh, you know, on the podcast platforms and all that good stuff. Um, I'm calling to inquire about the, the, the semi chase that that just happened a couple of days ago. Okay. Um, hang on one second, and let me figure out who the best person for you to talk to would be. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Um, which location was this in? Uh, this was. Like which area? Uh, hold on, I'm going back. Kashut. Okay. Kush- well, Kashut. Kashutan County? Kashokton. Kashokton, yes. Yes. Okay. I believe that was um, that was it. That was the one well, that was the one that end it says it says it ended in Kashotan County, but it looks like the chase went through eight counties. It went through what county? Eight. It it says here in the news article that it went through eight counties altogether. Oh, it went through eight counties. Yeah. When was it? Uh by the looks of it, this it says it's happened on Monday afternoon. So Monday afternoon. So yesterday, I, I don't believe this was yesterday. That probably last Monday, I guess. But, okay. Um. Yeah, we're trying to figure out who is handling this. Okay. So give me one more second to figure that out. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so I'm being told that that happened last year. Last year. Yeah. The one that the wait, last year? The one that they just released yeah. the, that they just released the video for the chase and the and it says here that uh that the sni- Where, sniper the What sni- article? Uh I'm looking at like different articles. Like this one right here from the Cincinnati.com uh says okay. July 18th, 2020. July 18th, 2020. Uh, okay. 7, 7.58 p.m. Saturday update. Cincinnati police 
says I-75 has been reopened. So this is like Saturday. It says uh says here that a semi-trailer pursuant in Butler County. Hold on right quick. It's the one that is hold on, let me make sure because it's the one that you guys just released the video. Um just released the video. Y'all okay. just y'all just released the video of the of the semi that of the semi that got uh that it Did was it overturn? Yeah, it was uh looked like it was the front tires was shot out or it was shot out by a sniper rifle on the uh on the highway. And this was recent. I'm trying to find Okay. Is the headline sniper shot the engine yes. of the semi? Ending? Yes, yes, okay. that one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, one second. Okay. Thank you for the help. <laughs> Sorry man. about this. No, no problem. No problem. <laughs> okay, so Cincinnati Police is actually the agency that um handled the incident. Okay. They're the one who's doing the investigation. So they'd be the best person to contact to get any information. All right. Can I can I can I get the phone number to them? Um yeah, let me pull it up. Kind of crazy that that they will be, you know, talking about more of it being that you guys was the ones that, that was chasing, you know. But yeah I, 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 the I, patrol I, is in oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh the patrol is involved. But the um, Cincinnati Police Department is the one who's handling everything. Not a problem. Not a problem. Now, what date was that? So I can get the actual date. I know it was like, what, was it last week or this week? I mean, last week. It began, okay, at 12.54 p.m. Saturday. So that would have been, because if this is from the 18th, mm -hmm. it would have been the 18th. Okay, so it would have been from the 18th, it looks like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that was so that was 18th. So that was like, uh, today's the 28th, so that's like two weeks ago. Pretty about much. A, or, yeah. Yeah, about a, yeah, about a week ago. Not not exactly. About a week and a half. Yeah, yeah. Not, not exactly two weeks ago. So it did happen on, it did happen on the 18th, 2020. And this was an afternoon time, I guess. Yeah, it says, um, just from what I'm seeing based off this article, the pursuit began 12.54 p.m. Saturday. Yeah. And the article was released the 18th, which was the Saturday. Thank you, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. No problem. All right. All right. Bye. So the troopers were were involved. The troopers were involved with the chase, but... Cincinnati police is the ones that's handling the investigation and the chase. Uh, you know what? I, I guess what I should have did, I should have asked if I could probably talk to the, talk to the officer or officers that was involved with the chase. Hmm. Please dispatch. How can I help you? I am the host of Lockout Men Podcast, the Truckers Podcast. Uh, I just got finished. Okay. I, I just got finished talking to uh, someone over at the Ohio uh, Ohio Highway Patrol, and they sent uh -huh. they, they sent me over to you guys to get a little bit more information on the chase that happened on Saturday, the eighteenth. That's dealing with that semi truck. Um, I would have to get you in touch with our um, PR department. public information yeah, officer. That, that's 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 cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hang on just a second here. Let me give you their telephone. Are you able to write the number down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody in particular yes. to ask for, or someone there will be able to help me? So there's, I believe that that phone number goes. We'll take it to two officers. But I don't know their names offhand. But I think if they don't answer, you can leave a voicemail. All right. Very good, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. All right. This is what I do for you guys, man. Investigative reporting right here. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find out the information for you guys about the semi-truck take uh, the semi-truck chase that happened this uh about a couple of about a Saturday ago. Uh, that was dealing with the semi uh, getting uh, shot 
out by a by a sniper to uh, actually stop the chase. They released the video today or recently. I'm not sure, but I I just got emailed the video today, and they um, and it's a it's a lengthy one. It's a <laughs> it's a lengthy one. It's about uh 20 about 15 20 minutes long and wow and what a chase it was man hey how's it going how's it going man i am the host of lockout men podcast the truckers podcast um i i went through a lot of a lot of channels to come over here but i'm inquiring about the semi chase that occurred this past Saturday on the eighteenth. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. Um, I, 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 do what do you know? What what do you, well? First thing first. Do I have your do I have your permission to talk to you about the uh, about the incident? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Awesome. All right. So, I, I guess I want to start at the beginning. What what led up to uh, what led up to the chase? Well, I, so I, I know you're recording me, but I don't have all, you have my permission to talk to me. I don't have all the facts. Um, I can get you somebody that has all the facts. You want to put this on your podcast is what you're calling me about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I have, I have the right person for you. If you just hold on, he is on a conference call. Okay. Your phone number is 216-6002090. Okay. All right. Um. Lieutenant Steve Saunders is is better suited to do this than I. He he dealt with the the incident. I didn't. Okay. So he is on a conference call right now. Okay. If he calls you back today, is that going to be okay? That's perfect. Perfect. I will lead the okay. I will lead the line open for Let him. Let me give you his number. If you don't hear back from him today, call him tomorrow. Okay. We're we're at the end of the day and we're busy as can be. We're teaching a class tomorrow. Right. His, his direct line is 513. Five. Awesome. Yeah, we're teaching a class tomorrow, so we're trying to get all this stuff done for it. But uh, Awesome, awesome. Uh, but I, he'll be able to call you back. He's I, got all the facts. I would, definitely, I would definitely leave the phone lines open for him, and I will be anticipating this call. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, all right. So while I'm waiting on that call for you guys, uh, what I'm going to do now is – play the video uh it is it is a lengthy video uh i probably might not play all of it i probably might you know like put, you know like put it in cuts but it's it's a long video it's about it's about 20 minutes i'll link the video in the description if you want to watch the video in its entirety but um of course for for time's sake i'm gonna cut it down uh but then after that, I will have uh, a conversation with Officer Steve Saunders uh, from the Cincinnati Police Department to come on and give us his account, his his detail, his uh, 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 his version of what happened during that uh, during that faithful semi chase on. Uh, on the highway in Cincinnati. All right? So stay tuned.
us out. What's the end? We're getting On, we have on the line from the Cincinnati Police Department, uh, Lieutenant Steve Saunders to the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for taking the time. So thanks for Sean. I like the, I like the applause. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so. Uh, wow. I mean, epic, epic chase there on. uh on what was it, two seventy five, I believe. Uh, it ended on two seventy five, Interstate two seventy five, on the east side of Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. uh, it started, uh, from what I understand, from talking to Ohio State Highway Patrol up near uh, Butler County, which is north of Cincinnati, mm -hmm. along I seventy five. So it went from I seventy five south, and then all the way into Cincinnati. And we have a, an area that connects seventy five to seventy one that. Maybe your listeners are familiar with called the Fort Washington Way, uh, which is kind of like a transition uh, area uh, from the, the two highways. And then that continued up 71 north all the way to 275 east and then they close to the Ohio River near I-275 east near the uh, Kellogg Road or Kellogg Avenue. 
Oh, okay. uh, exit. So long, long, long pursuit. Long p- went on for close to three hours, a little more, th- little more than three hours actually. Three hours. So in your recollection, in, 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 yeah. in your recollection, sir, what uh, what initially triggered the tr- triggered the chase? I mean, what I, what happened? So yeah, that's a good question. I, I think what uh, we were told initially was there was some type of domestic violence or. Um, you know, a, a domestic situation between the male driver, mm-hmm. Patrick, I'm not sure I pronounce the last name, but it's a birth below or birth below, uh, uh, Patrick and, and his wife, we later learned out, it was, find out it was, his wife was in the tractor uh, with him. And uh, the, drive, the car was driving recklessly, I guess, up on the north, uh, I'm sorry, 75 South area, just north of the city of Cincinnati. And that's what um, was alerted to the Ohio State Highway Patrol they initiated the pursuit, and then there was a 911 call made from uh, the inside of the truck. I'm not sure if it was what his wife that made the call uh, or he made the call, but there was an open line, and we soon determined that this person was being held against her will. His his wife later turned out to be his wife. Okay. And um, you know, it was kind of like a ro- rolling domestic violence and a hostage situation all rolled into one. Wow. Um, pretty bizarre and and very unusual circumstance for sure um from what i from what i was reading on the uh cincinnati.com uh they initially said that they that the Mm -hmm. officer stopped him because he didn't have no uh no no tagging on the truck like it wasn't no you know no company name on the vehicle or anything like that so that so uh, that Mm -hmm. that wasn't the initial reason why the officer uh uh, pulled him over. The initial reason was reckless driving, pretty much. I, that's my understanding. Yeah, it was some type of erratic driving or reckless driving that was brought to the attention of the Ohio State Highway Patrol that led to them attempting to pull the truck over, and he refused to be pulled over, and the, and the pursuit uh, started from there. And then we got involved when it came in to the city of Cincinnati, mm-hmm. and later on, the Ohio, Ohio, Ohio State Highway Patrol. Uh, backed off and they were there more of a support role mm-hmm. uh, in, in the uh, overall incident. So doing so doing the initial chase with with uh, with with your officers, what was the what was the uh, what was the feeling? I mean, what what was the can you tell uh, can you tell us about the chatter through, you know, through the CB and all like that and what sure. the officers was I, feeling at the time yeah. of the chase? So. Yeah, so I, I obviously wasn't there, but I was monitoring the situation over the radio, uh, actually from my home because it was off uh, that day and listening uh, to the events. We had an officer in our office that made me aware of what was going on, so I started to to um, pay attention to what was happening on the radio, and and you could hear the dispatcher. So it didn't come into our dispatch center of the 911 call, but it went into uh, an adjacent agency's dispatch dispatch center, and they were relaying that to our dispatcher, and they're basically saying that. Uh, this person, um, uh, the driver, was um, threatening to hurt, hurt police officers when he saw him uh, out on the highway trying to lay out stop sticks. He at one time swerved towards an officer and then was hit mm-hmm. a Miami Township officer. Um, they did actually get one of the tires to, to uh, go out. The driver, or the passenger side front a tire was flattened, and right. he kept driving on that. Uh, but it was very, um, it was a very reckless situation. Uh, he even said at one point, uh, this is what he calls suicide by cop. Mm. Uh, so he made that statement uh, and that, that he didn't want to go peacefully. And, um, you know, this went on for many, many hours. Like I said, over three hours. Yeah, over three hours. Uh, continued on for quite a long time. Wow. Yeah. He started at, at one point towards the end, turning around, doing U-turns and going the wrong direction on the highway. So he was going eastbound in the westbound lane. I'm sorry. Westbound on the eastbound lane. And then he turned around uh, going, east, uh, going westbound in the, in the eastbound lane as well. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen was, it on the video. It was it was all over yeah, the place. It, he, he was, was all, over, all the place. over the place, yeah, man. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, he uh, yeah, he detached the trailer from the, I, the tractor. You know what? I I had um, to that's when his wife I had to stop was like a, I had to stop the video because I was like, wait a minute. When people, you know, when people yeah. was talking about it in the Facebook post, because they didn't actually release the video until uh, recently, but they was like, you know, how how the hell the truck mm-hmm. is going in reverse and he's, you know, he's attached to his trailer. And then when I actually seen the uh, seen right. the video itself, 
I, I, yeah, I, I seen the trailer over in the other lane. Like, wow. So, I mean, right. he, he had you guys. Yeah, he separated it. He he had you guys going for going for a loop. I mean, that's wow. That's that is crazy right sure, there. Yeah. Um it was it was I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it. I I've seen plenty pl- and I've been in law enforcement for most thirty years. I, I've seen plenty of police chases and this this is a wild one right here. I mean, this this is beyond it, it definitely is a wild one. And it's kinda crazy. I, I hate to say this, but it's kinda crazy that a lot of the a lot of the craziness happens in Ohio. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of the craziness if, if happens in Ohio. That's where your focus is. I'm sure you're, you're seeing a lot. Oh man, uh, are you based? Are you based in Ohio? Yes, or, yes, I am. Actually, I'm. Where are you yes, based I'm. Now? I'm a I'm a truck driver from Ohio. I'm I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. And Ohio. yeah, again, I've been in, gotcha. I've been in, probably see a lot that happens yeah, in our exactly. And again, I've been, I've been trucking out here for, uh, for five years. So I, I came across a, a, a lot in, yeah. in, in my small time in the industry. Um, so okay. it all came to an end, uh, when, when, uh, when, uh, SWAT officer, uh, took out the engine, uh, am I correct to say that? Right. Where, where you, you are. Yeah. And, uh, we had to make that really difficult decision. That's what I was about to ask. Uh, where, Go ahead. where did the decision come from to, to make that shot? And I'm sure that you guys use one of your best sharpshooters to, to disengage the engine. We, we sure did. Um, so that the, the termination was after the way he was driving and, and continuing to drive with that tire being flattened and, and the trailer now separated, uh, and driving the wrong way on the highway, that we had to do something to bring this to an end. Uh, and the only way we're going to end it, as far as the the movement and the uh, fluidity of the of the situation, was to stop the truck. Uh, we're fortunate that we have uh, a chief and Chief Isaac that he recognized that there could be potentially situations like this mm-hmm. uh, where we might need to stop a vehicle someday. And he made the investment in a, uh, a specific round and, and a type of a firearm and a 50 caliber um, sniper rifle that's specifically used only to take out uh, a vehicle's engine to stop a vehicle from moving. So um, that's what we did in this situation. It was also shot by uh, regular, um, uh, I could say, patrol rifle rounds going in the other direction. But the rounds that really uh, took out the engine were the, the 50 caliber rounds that were fired at the engine and I think created some pretty uh, serious damage to the, the radiator and some other uh, key components. And eventually the, the vehicle lost uh, power, power. And, and came to arrest. And uh, he got out. This is after his wife had been released from the vehicle. So we didn't fire on the vehicle until he released the hostage. Uh, and she, I think, sustained a broken leg. Uh, she's okay, fortunately. And and, the, and Patrick is okay. Wait. Uh, he was tased. Wait, he, uh, he, he, uh, he, he, she jumped out of the truck while it was still in motion? Or... He let no. So when he stopped to separate the vehicle from uh, the the tractor from the trailer, Mm -hmm. he released her. He let her go. Okay. Uh, And she got out of the vehicle, and we got some uh, SWAT officers to her location and got her uh, to safety and and had some medics. And and, uh, we have SWAT doctors that were on the scene and got her to the hospital right away. Okay. And I think she sustained a broken leg even before we ever had any kind of contact uh, with her at all. I don't think it happened uh, during any part of the pursuit, but. Um, but so, so when she was out of the truck and he continued to drive the way he was driving, our SWAT uh, commander, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Paul Nudigate, uh, made the call to have our sniper, he is a sniper team leader, uh, take the shot. And he took two shots with a 50 caliber round uh, and struck the, the main engine compartment mm-hmm. as the vehicle was coming out at 60 miles per hour. Okay. Uh, so put yourself in that situation uh, where you're on the side of a highway mm-hmm. and you have to take a shot at a moving vehicle going 60 plus miles per mm-hmm. hour at you <laughs> and behind you is traffic. Uh, we had uh, the traffic on both sides of the highway stop right. uh, with civilians who were in their cars basically stuck in traffic. And had he not shot that uh, truck and, and got the truck to stop, um, we don't know what this guy was going to do. Probably would have been uh, Was he going to hurt a police officer? Was he going to hurt a citizen who's in their car? He could, I mean, what is a truck? I don't even know what a tractor weighs. Probably several thousand mm-hmm. pounds, right? And a car probably weighs 2,000 pounds. Like a, a tractor trailer engine probably weighs five or 6,000 pounds mm-hmm. by itself. And, and uh, 
had it had a head of steam and momentum, it could have seriously injured or killed someone. So uh, that truck, uh, when it was when it came to rest, uh, we had our our um, armored vehicle we call the Bear uh, out in front of it to create a buffer for our officers or SWAT officers. And then uh, Patrick exited the, the truck, and uh, they were giving him commands, and, and he didn't um, he... Uh, give up initially. And a knife to his neck actually he was threatening to harm himself. Oh, okay. And uh, an officer uh, used the taser to tase him, and uh, they were able to get him into cust in, into custody after that. All right. Uh, but a crazy situation. So fortunately, uh, he uh, survived the encounter, and his wife survived the encounter, and no citizens were hurt. Um, obviously, the, the truck is. Uh, probably destroyed as a result of this. I'm not sure if it was his own truck or a lease truck or, or what, but um, a very, uh, very, very scary situation for everybody involved. Very and uh, right. I, I, I just got to say this just because I'm on the road a lot and driving mm-hmm. that uh, I value truck drivers so much Thank and you. what you guys do. Thank you. And what, if your people are listening, um, man, oh man, our country couldn't work and couldn't flow and Thank couldn't exist without our truck drivers out on the highway uh, moving everything from thank you fuel to, thank you for uh, that. household items to i mean the country survives on, on on truck drivers making everything happen so um this is no indication of anybody i've had experience with in the in the, um in the, in the freight business and dealing with uh truck drivers over the years I, I had nothing but really good interactions with truck drivers and and um so shout out to all those that are out there Thank on the road, you. Um, keeping our country moving. I appreciate sure. it. I, I really appreciate yeah. it. And I, I appreciate you and uh, the state troopers and, and everybody that was involved was able to bring uh, bring that to a peaceful resolution. You know, nobody wasn't hurt. Nobody wasn't killed uh, because I'm sure the yep. I, I'm, I'm sure the situation probably would have went uh, would have went different if if the if the uh you know, the sniper officer would have, you know, took a more direct approach, if you know what I mean. But he chose his target. He, oh, he, yeah. cho- oh, he yeah. chose his yeah. target. He chose it well. Yep. Uh, you guys was able to uh, apprehend the uh, the young man. Would you would you guys know, was he a, a, a company mm-hmm. driver or was he a was he an owner operator? I, I don't know. If you look at some of the I don't know. I, we were trying to figure it out because I know that some. One of the things we were looking at was they were trying to identify was that owned by a trucking company. And because it's not a very well-marked truck, there is some markings on it. You probably have to get really close up to see what the company is. But uh, I, I don't think they ever determined if he was an owner-operator or if he was a, a lease driver. Um, but I, I think some of the trucks, you can tell me, correct me if I'm wrong, Sean, if they're like the bigger trucking companies, you can actually yeah, you... disable a truck remotely. Mm-hmm. Uh, with like a GPS uh, system, it was like almost like OnStar, mm-hmm. uh, but we were able, never able to determine that in this case. So I, I don't know how that panned out if he was a owner operator or you know lease driver or what. So, um, but nonetheless, uh, we're very thankful it, it all re- resolved. All right. Uh, pretty much at, at the end, of this long ordeal is a, is a peaceful end. Was a very very scary situation. What did the uh, did did the driver? say anything or he uh, uh did he did he say anything to why after he, he was snapped in custody? after he was in custody yes we you know i think that yeah that that's still um being looked at we did take him to uh, be evaluated for a psychiatric evaluation and then he was uh looked at at the hospital for treatment and, and uh, he was in really good shape actually but uh and psychologically obviously there were some mental health issues going on there. Uh, and, and he's currently, I think, being held at our Hamilton County Justice Center right. uh, and, and waiting on uh, a trial date. What so, about what about his um, wife? Uh, yeah, I really don't know what his mental state was. What about his wife? I think his wife is okay. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I think she's okay. I, I think she, again, that sustained what I heard was a, a broken leg. I'm not sure how serious that uh, break was, but uh, she was treated right away, taken to the hospital, as soon as she was released from his uh, being held captive by him in the truck, uh, taken to the hospital and got evaluated. I don't know her current status, uh, but I think she's going to be fine in the long run. All right. All right. Well, Lieutenant Steve Sanders, thank you for coming okay. on. I really do appreciate yeah. that, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much no for, uh, yeah. for sharing. If people want to see, if people want to see the, uh, uh, LaShawn, if people want to see the total briefing that Lieutenant Colonel Paul Nugget gave, they can go to our, 
um, our Twitter handle is at Cincy PD, mm-hmm. and uh, there's a video out there they can see the, the um, post uh, incident briefing that Colonel Newgate gave after this. And uh, we're, again, we're thankful that, that no one was seriously injured in this situation. Again, big shout out to the truckers out there who are making this country move uh, every single day, and and thank you all for what you do. Well, I I appreciate you, sir. And it's Officer Steve Saunders, everybody. <laughs> Or Lieutenant Steve Saunders, Cincinnati Police Department. Uh, he was the one that handled that uh, that chase. And yeah, man, mm, that was that was epic, man. That was epic. So I appreciate him coming on uh, and uh, telling us uh, telling us what went you know what went on during that little epic chase. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, and this is the Lockout Men podcast show. If you would like to come on and chill with me, by all means, hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up over at the uh, Instagram at Lockout Men. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for listening. And then on that note, until the next episode, we, well, somebody going to play me in first. We are gone. You guys take it easy and have a blessed day. Peace.